My name's Pete Woods, you're watching Hexham TV, and I'm here with Marcus at uh, Hexham Abbey. Marcus, who are you and what's happening here? Well, I'm the festival director and also the director of music here at the Abbey, and each year we put on a series of concerts and other events in nine days of festivities called the Hexham Abbey Festival, which has been running now for 64 years and the launch starts today so we're all raring to go and we'll be putting concerts on in the Abbey and in the Great Hall where we are now um, throughout all of next week involving local artists and international, internationally known artists as well who are coming to Hexham to perform and to run workshops with local schools which is an important part of what we do too. What sort of artists and what sort of music are going on and what, what are the dates of the festival? Well, the first concert is on the 17th of September, which is Saturday, and it runs through until the following Saturday. And it's framed by classical music, so we have um, pianists, organists, choirs. Uh, the, the first concert, for example, on Saturday will be the Hexham Abbey Festival Chorus, which is a large um, local choral society that meets just for this concert each year. And this year they're performing Rossini's Petit Mess Solennel in the Abbey. And um, we have some folk music this year from the Balkans, uh, performed by Horovod. And we have um, a group called Automatronic from London who are going to be um, combining organ and electronics. And we have also a mixture of, of concerts performed by young musicians lunchtime concerts and this year we have um, a violinist and a harpsichordist and we have another pianist and we have an organist and so throughout the week uh, there's an opportunity really for everybody to get involved and to come and see something that might, uh, they, that might appeal to them particularly and some, a lot of school children will be descending on the Abbey to hear the artists perform and also to have workshops with the artists who will be exploring their particular specialism with them and hopefully enlightening them and, and inspiring them possibly to take up an instrument themselves. And the Hexham Abbey Festival is a, is a really big event uh, in the calendar of um, Hexham every year. How, how much effort and how, when do you start planning the next one? Um, we tend to work one or two years ahead and it's a whole uh, year's work to develop one festival. And we, I apply to the Arts Council of England for funding, majority funding, and we're, we're very fortunate still to get their support and full endorsement, and that is a whole process. And then deciding who we want to come and perform here, and also fitting that in with the Abbey's diary. Is, is, and, and all the associated logistics is, is, is really hard as well. So it's a long period and we rely heavily on volunteers as well as paid staff to bring the whole thing off. So it's a, a lot of work. So if people want to find out a little bit more about the Hexham Abbey Festival, to find out who's playing and perhaps how to buy tickets, where should they go? Well, there's a website, um, hexhamabbeyfestival.org.uk and all the information is on there. And tickets can be purchased through the Queen's Hall box office just across the road and they also have a website um, and basically there are advertisements flyers brochures all over the county all over the region so look out for those as well and um, come and visit us at some point during the week you'd be most welcome Marcus I wish you every success for Hexham Abbey Festival 2016 and thank you very much for talking to Hexham TV thank you 